Welcome back to CNC Equipment's YouTube channel. We got some uh, bulldozer action today, don't we? You guys see over here, we've got a John Deere 700J. It's missing a blade. It used to be an x pipeler machine, so it didn't have a blade on it. Mr. Mason's over here servicing that. So we bought us a good used salvage blade, didn't we? Yeah. He's going to stick it on yesterday. He wasn't going to do a video, and then we found a problem. The rest of the blade's in pretty good shape, but... Uh, Something's not quite right there. <laughs> so uh, this is all behind the track here. And I'm guessing this bolt probably got lost, broken off, and then it's been uh, wallered. wallered out. And you guys can see it's not supposed to be like that. So um, thankfully they put new bushings in the end of the cylinder. This is the angle cylinder, angles the blade here. So that's all good and tight. Um, I guess we could probably have left that, but it's definitely not right. Um, so, a couple different ways we can probably do it. Um, we talked about cutting these. This is actually extra plate to put on here, cutting this out, making a new plate, and then cutting this inner one out, making a new hole for it. But uh, we're going to try to heat it, straighten it back up. And I have a new tool that I've had for like a year and never used, right? Yeah. Well, we're going to uh, attempt to set up a line bore. Bore that out. You guys have seen maybe in a video in the past. I actually got a homemade line boring machine that we use. So I did buy a new one from across the pond. We've never used it, but we're going to try to set it up here and see if we can fail on international television. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, so we're going to get a rosebud out. I think that's our plan, right? We're going to heat yeah. that and beat it in. And then so. we'll try to set up our across the pond boring machine and see what we can't break. If that all works good, then we'll try to get a welder set up and weld that back up, bore it out. We do have a new pin here. If that all goes good and gets it back together, we'll uh, stick it on that dozer sitting over there. Grind it up, score it up. Yeah. Be good enough for who it's for. It was. Oh yeah. All right, we're opening up my across the pond goodie pack, and we think we've—I don't know what we got going on. We've got a boring machine only right here in that box. Then we have a boring machine here plus welding machine in that box. I think we got one too many parts. Kevin's over here translating languages. <laughs> Should we show him what's this say? Well, if I just wanted a little, I'd go this way. Little? So that's little. Little big. Little and big. And if I want to go positive or negative. And little big. What's a little big? Well, that's another little and a big. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so I bought this on eBay. It's probably been like a year Let's ago. Let's see what happens. I don't know. Our biggest problem here is these are 55 millimeter rods, and guess what size our pin is? 55, 55 millimeter. So uh, we're trying. Man, that's got a bunch of grease on it. So this is a new pin. It is the exact same size as these boring rods. It's basically kind of close to two inches. Well, no. this is all 110. Yeah, 110. Or, Whatever they got in the mainland of oh boy, 
I think it's been converted that's from a, a converted kit. from a European plug. Somebody uh, that's watching uh, probably knows what that is. Yeah, that's a dishwasher. Yeah, or, uh, you guys can guess where it's come from. I'm not proud of it right now at the moment, but uh, I am. <laughs> yeah. This is awesome. I may have to go home to the old shop and get my old boring bar. We're gonna try to figure something out here, and we'll bring you guys back. Don't worry, folks. We figured it out. <laughs> so we translate. Little big means fast or slow. Positive and negative means forward and reverse. Yeah, that's right. And we got a little <laughs> If I want a little, or I want a big. Is that wide open? Yeah, that was like the big dog eat right there. Okay, and then we have, and then we let it go. So we're going forward, you guys may not go see it, but oh yeah. she's moving back. That would be negative? Yes. Well, we don't no, know. We gotta be positive on this. We may have to make our own stickers for that. No, no, I think I got it. That's pretty funny, the translation <laughs> we got going on there. <laughs> but it works. Um, see hmm. if you can hold it. So apparently, I think we didn't get extra parts so this is just for boring and then the welding machine goes on I'm, i don't know i think we i think a that, wise investment here did we yeah if we had a bigger hole it'd be real good right now yeah we would have been around i think you can do it all with that one this machine here but somehow they sent us this one by mistake but we're not saying nothing that's right put it in the hole Can we do it for you? Quit boogering it up. It's not there. Just gotta have a man put it on for you. Thanks. That's what I need in my life, is a man. Is that a real boy? You're gonna be trapped shortly. <laughs> I don't know if this long rod's gonna work. All right, we got a contraption and kind of change gears here. We're going to go ahead and bore this thing out with this big bar. Bore it and maybe try to weld it. I don't know. We got this contraption. So that yellow one over there where Tucker's at, it's actually just made to bore. But this one will do both, we think. Kevin's playing his video game from 1980, Sega. <laughs> so we did. It's like a, what was that? Atari? Don't be pressing all these Pong. buttons with your sausages. Pong. Uh, let's see here first. Alright, that's the wrong direction. How do we know? That's the way to go. Now can we travel? Yeah. Now we're moving. Yes. Yeah. Okay. The shaft's moving, ain't it? Yep. Cool. Money. We just gotta get a bit and start tearing stuff up. If anything happens, just hit the red button. Kills it, huh? It's, I think that's no, to start the welder. Says welder machine control. I think you have to hit the red button over there on top of the welder. Red buttons mean stop. So yeah, we've got a welding attachment for this. I'll be curious to see. And I bought an adapter to go from their European style to the Miller. So who knows if that's gonna work? Why do you have numbers flashing? You should quit touching things right now. There, say it quit. Alright, got that side welded in. We are still learning, but we're getting there. Gotta do a little bit of hand welding over here to get that side filled out. But, uh, we're getting it. It's a learning curve for everything, so... We're good, big enough here. We're small enough. I'm gonna take all this off, and then we'll set our other bar up.
right, we had to run two passes in there. Um, it should be enough. I'm gonna do some measuring. Might have to touch up that side over there, but starting to get her figured out. She's laying down pretty nice speed, so pretty happy with it. Alright, you guys can see I've got an inch and a quarter of boring rod in there. You guys remember it was set up for a 55 millimeter, which is close to two inches. Made a little bushing wheel in there, another one in there, turned the end of my existing inch and a quarter shaft in. So we're in there cutting away. We're taking about, oh, almost 80,000 cut right now, 40 on each side. Should be a bit one more pass. Everything's cleaned up, looking good. To get that done, I may try to sneak the big bar back in there, maybe face these. If not, we'll just turn them off. But, uh, it's all going so well. The only thing I'm not super happy with is uh, over the pond motor is getting a little bit warm and we're really not working it that hard. So. We're gonna keep checking it. Out. I got her all bored out looking pretty good um i left that face out flush here it's kind of the steel's kind of pushed in there so got uh all the bolts off here cleaned up those looking nice got a pretty good fit a little bit of clearance i got a keeper this keeper i've made in the past and i had to tap this hole out to uh 12 millimeter the 10 millimeter was stripped out of course so Get that to go in there. Um, should be good. I'm gonna clean a bunch of stuff up and then we'll get the cylinder put back on there. Mason's been uh, trying to get pins and stuff out there. I've been helping a little bit. I'll take you guys down there and show you. We got one that's stuck. It's in a big, big problem area, but we'll get it out and uh, go. All right, getting ready to stick the cylinder back in there. He's making sure the grease line works. We're gonna try to put it back up here in the hole where it goes. Somebody didn't do that, did they? No. What do you want? You want Got a red poopy all You need over a pig wiper? You're welcome. I feel like all this stuff's in our way. It is. Just slightly. We got extendo. Mr. George, it's a, it's a boy. Here we go. <laughs> You picking it up? I'll pull it back. 
somewhere in there. Somewhere. Yeah, a couple spacers. A little bit more back, but <clears throat> Let's see if these will fit in here. I think I should get that pin started over here. Yeah, yeah. Won't drop it. Oh, back some more. Back more? Yep. Oh, right there. There, it's in the hole. In the hole. One more spacer. Slightly. Are you ready? Don't move my finger. Okay. Yeah. Up just a little bit. Oh, right, right there. Okay. <laughs> it's almost like it's that video on. might not be very good. Sure. I noticed I was pointing right at the C frame <laughs> instead of the pen. They get the picture. Okay. All done. All right, got that all together. We're ready to stick it on the tractor over Mason. It's got us ready. Take you under my uh, across the pond line boring machine. Don't forget, you guys can win all this, all these tools, right? That's right. So there is a uh, down below in the description. There's a thing where you can go in, enter to win that toolbox. We're gonna do a review on this before too long, too. So anyway, um, Boring machine did all right. I'm very concerned about these motors. This one was getting extremely hot yesterday and we really wasn't working that hard. It got hot enough where I stopped, took this motor off. This gearbox is getting hot. Made sure there was oil in it. They did have grease in there. Um, and then this little stepper motor here was getting extremely hot. So I don't know. Maybe it's something to do with the power conversion. What kind of power do they have? They got something different overseas? I don't know. I didn't understand this either. Maximum feed depth at a time is two millimeters. Is that per revolution? At a time. Because I don't know. Anyway, these things are for sale all over eBay. Uh, you can get on there. The whole kit's like 4500 five grand or something. But I don't know if I would recommend it at this point. Um, I'm not impressed with the motor. I don't think they're going to last. So we may have some more boring to do in the future. Or if somebody. Uh, has a good option for a line bore. I'm not opposed to buying a good USA made one or something. So, I don't know. You ready? I think so. You're just stuck on there. All right, we're under the beast down here. So this is where the back of the C frame attaches here. These big pins go through inside from the belly pan like that. And of course, they're a little bit rusty up here. We had problems getting this one out I actually cut the pin in two pieces down there as you guys can see to get it out because I had some in there originally but uh, I'm going to take the grinder and clean some holes up justify my purchase I made yesterday What are you doing today, Mason? Oh. You're doing a good job. You keep up the good work, okay?
out of the way. Oh, come in. Are you started? Oh, I got to take this off. All right, we're underneath here. We're going to try to get him lined up the best we can. Probably pull these back out. Drive straight in. Whoa. Whoops. Go down a little bit. Up a little bit. Whoop. Let's try that. No. Yeah, yep, Mr. Mason on the Porter Power. She's going somewhere. I'm on the shake weight. Kevin's getting it shaky. You're doing a good job, Mason. I don't care what anybody says about you. <laughs> we may have to go to that one kind of stops, and then we'll get this one lined up better. And go from there. I noticed how you took the easy side once we got it lined up. Hey, don't worry, I got it. Hey, you're out of stroke here, Bubby. Reverse. For some reason, Mason broke the spring inside our porter yeah. power, so it won't back up. Did Reverse you open it. that all the way? Yep. Okay, I'm going to have to put these people down. There we go. Smash. I think there's a big spring inside there. It's supposed to pull it back, but Mason broke it earlier, right, Mason? Yeah. We got him to admit to it on TV. Mister it. All so right, now we, we can buy a new one. <laughs> we got the keeper in that side over there. We had to put the spinner on it with the pipe wrench a little bit. And we'll be golden. All right, one last thing we gotta do, we gotta hook these hoses up here. They actually go to some grease fittings way up there. It greases these lower pins on each side. We got two lines gotta hook up. You notice there's another one there for the uh, center equalizer bar, so. I'm gonna get these put in here. Gotta put an adapter in first. What size tools do I need for these, Mason? For what? These little lines. Uh, are they seven sixteenths and half inch? Get those put in there and we'll be done under here. Alright, we're all done under there. We got the grease lines hooked up. Can you go ahead and go down. Go ahead and start it up and you tilt your forks down. Oh, you got me greasy. Oh, <laughs> why'd you do that? Yes, yeah. got the poopy all over the top. That's the first thing you're not supposed to do. 
get grease off the boss. Show up to work. That's important. Down a little mason. That's up. Perfect. Yes. Would you like facial hair for the first time? Facial no, hair no, for the good. first time. <laughs> Quit picking on Mason. <laughs> All right. We're going to hook those lines up. We got four lines to hook up front. And it's going to be like playing Jenga because fortunately we don't know which one does what. So the factory has them color coded there, but uh, I don't know. We'll probably just go for it and hook them up. I don't know. I think you need to spin the camera around right now. What are those, bud? Bob, these are my new, these are my new, new songs. That's right. Are you going to start singing for us? My biggest fan gave them to me. Your biggest fan. Mason's mom. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right. Well, so we've got it hooked up. I'm going to say it's a 50-50 shot. We're gambling today. We're gambling. Hey, it's my best friend, Tucker. Hey, Tucker. Nice Look time. at this small. Oh, small for got, days. We're welding for you. Hey, Tucker, are you going to be the operator? Sure. Why don't you hop up there and fire this thing up? Should we check and make sure Mason could have it? Mason had to go to school. He had to go to higher education today. I had to go to he got me Mason's going to have to be an electrician. I heard. So we've never had this started moving the blades up. So this will be this will be epic, Bub. So you're gonna start up is up. pick it up and the two circuits we're concerned about is the angle and the tilt. See if they're going the right way. So like Fire up. Is it kind of disconnect on? No. Come on, Elvis. Oh. Hang on just a second there. Little buckaroo. Yeah. Get her, bub. Hey, sure oh, she's going. Blocker valve. Blocker valve. Let me clean it off. There's a Ford, but not. Watch your ears. So, since this dozer never had a blade on it, they put a little lockout right here. You guys can see that, keeping that lever from moving. So, they don't have the other ones locked. We'll take that off and try it again. Is it going to explode? There's a little blocker. Man, somebody welded that and ground it all smooth and it's perfect. did a nice job. Got your blue blocker on. Bob, it's dark in here. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> you ready to weld? <laughs> Ray Charles. <laughs> Move the handle around, and take the pressure off. Probably should roll that canister under there. Well, huh. Ray Charles, you missed two. You couldn't see him. <laughs> we just got to change two lines around here. And we got two of them, right? So. It's like it's got air under something. Yeah. Sounds like me. I'm 
Got those switched. I'm gonna go ahead and add some hydraulic oil to the tank in here. Let that fill up, and Mr. Tucker's gonna try it one more time. We'll get that blade cycled around, get all the air and stuff out of it. All right, we got our pull wall. So you're gonna cycle it all around so we can get all the air out. Got it right that time. Tucker's going to have to do a little bit of fabrication under here because somebody did not put cutting edges on it when they should have. We'll probably end up cutting that section out and rewilling a new piece in there, but I think that's a wrap on this. What do you think, Mr. Kevin? I like how somebody doesn't do maintenance. And... <laughs> I mean, you could put a bolt in there, call it good. Yeah. We'll have Mr. Tucker cut it out and fix that. It's just, they must have really cut the corners back because the center is fine. Rounded it. That's going to be another day. I think we're all done with this project, ain't we? Done. Center ball don't, don't have play in it. Man, that's right. That one uh, pin over it surely did fight us for a long time anyway. We got that all line board out. Everything's hooked up, running. We'll probably run around some more, make sure we don't have no leaks. This thing's going to go to the paint shop. Make it look pretty again. We'll try. Yeah, I've got a winch and stuff to fit this, so if anybody needs a winch tractor, let us know. Mm. I'm actually putting a winch on another one there. Anyway, if you guys like this video, do us a big favor. Go down below, hit that thumbs up button. It helps us out tremendously. Got any comments on any stuff, drop it down below. If anybody's got any good lines on some uh, good USA-made line boring machines or something like that, and want to help us out, we're always here. So we got a a lot of lion boring to do on this big monster, so I don't know if we'll ever get to it, but I don't know if our little electric motors are going to make it. Oh, sure they will. <laughs> Let's try it. When we're cutting three-inch pins instead of two-inch pins, I'm pretty sure they'll be leaving the chat. Got it. As always, guys, we appreciate you watching. We'll catch you next time. It's starting to look like your teeth, Elvis. <laughs> what are you trying to say? Tucker to fix it. <laughs>